You are watching PR English Shorthand Dictations YouTube channel. This is English Shorthand Dictation number 383 and the dictation speed is 100 words per minute. Ready? Start. Mr. Chairman, Sir, I would like to refer to para 6 of Honorable Finance Minister's speech. Our Finance Minister has mentioned in her speech that we are providing food grains free of cost to 80 crore people of this country. They are most probably the people who are living below poverty line. If we are providing it to 80 crore people out of total population of 140 crore, it means the finance minister has accepted that 80 crore people are still living below poverty line. Few years ago, finance minister had mentioned that we were going to become a $5 trillion economy very soon. I do not know whether we have achieved that target or not, but she has accepted that there are 80 crore people who are still living below poverty line. This is a matter of shame for this country. The finance minister has mentioned that our total tax collection has increased threefold during these years. So I would like to ask her that if there is a threefold increase in tax collections and the cash reserve is also growing, then why people are still languishing in abject poverty? I can recall the time when the mudra scheme was launched and our young boys and girls approached banks to get the benefits of this scheme. Of course, few may have got benefited out of it, but later the banks stopped providing mudra loans to the poor and needy youths of this country. Now this scheme is almost dead and nobody is getting the benefits of this scheme. The total number of beneficiaries should have been declared, but that is not done by finance minister. Now, on the verge of elections, she has declared this Lakpati Didi scheme. How many women will get benefited from this scheme? That is not clear. The nationalized banks are not ready to listen to Honorable Finance Minister. If these banks are not ready to listen to the government, how would you help these women to become Lakhpati Didi? Sir, we only keep on talking about our farmers, but we do not take any initiative to ensure the minimum support price for farmers. She talked about the minimum support price. But is it given to the farmers? Are they getting the minimum support price or remunerative prices for their agriculture produce? Are they getting market prices? In my state, Maharashtra, farmers are distressed and they are not getting remunerative prices anymore. Sir, export of soya bean is banned by the government and they are importing it. So the farmers are facing acute problems and they are not getting remunerative and fair prices for their agricultural produce and the traders are also looting them. I would like to request the union government to fix 
the minimum support price. Moreover, the recommendations of Swaminathan Commission should be implemented. While talking on this interim budget, I would like to flag the issue of 4G towers to ensure teleconnectivity and also to improve telecommunication network, 4G towers had to be erected. That was a very good decision and I want to congratulate the government for it. Around 25,000 4G towers had to be installed and only three companies got the contract for their erection throughout the country. But these towers have not been installed till date in my constituency. We are proud of our Indian Railways. We are happy and proud that you have started Vande Bharat train and other trains. Sir, Konkan Railway is our pride and honor. It connects North India with South India. I would request the Union Government to dissolve the Konkan Railway Corporation and acquire it as early as possible. Sir, I thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. Sir, it has to be stated with all seriousness that this budget is neither a true reflection of the real state of our economy nor does it provide any idea of the future agenda of governance. India is facing various issues of economy. Several issues are related to the economy nowadays, including sagging rural economy leading to subdued demand. Our rural economy is yet to recover, but this budget has nothing to say about this kind of basic problems being faced by this country. Instead of that, it is very much noticeable that this budget has put forward many big claims. There are certain key words used by the Honorable Finance Minister to make these claims. It is being said that it is an inclusive budget. They have already mentioned the words social justice and secularism in action. I would like to know from my honorable friends sitting on the other side what this secularism in action is. The honorable minister stated in the budget that the government is moving forward or implementing secularism in action. The law breaking moves are sponsored and supported by the government. Is this your model of inclusion? What does the word inclusion means? The word inclusion means democratic pluralism, secularism and recognition of various dimensions of vividity, plurality related with Indian diversity related with our idea of India and Indian reality. The government is supporting so many negative actions throughout the country to weaken the principles of constitution. For example, there is uniform civil code. Is this your model of inclusion? The government tried to bring the uniform civil code but even in the constitution, it is stated that it cannot be imposed. None other than Dr. Ambedkar had stated that uniform civil code cannot be imposed. But nowadays, the government is trying to bring uniform civil code through back door using state governments. I would like to know from the government, from the honorable ministers, and from the friends sitting on the other side as to how a state government can bring uniform civil code. Then 
you are arguing for inclusion by destroying the diversity of the country the government is making big claims about inclusion what is being done in the country places of worship of the minority community are either being demolished confiscated or captured unjust and illegal claims are being made against the places of worship of minorities it is against the constitution it is against the very basic principles of the constitution minorities rights are being violated